Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, be sure you unplug the appliance before beginning. Your first step is to use a flathead screwdriver or a spring expansion tool to help remove the clamp from the door boot seal. Peel the boot seal off the lip of the front panel and move it out of the way. Now depress the tab to release the wire connector from the door latch. Your next step is to open the pump filter cover and unclip the drainage tube. Remove the filter housing mounting screw and pull out the housing. With the housing out, remove the lower front panel mounting screw. Remove the screws at the rear of the main top. Now slide the main top back approximately one inch, then lift up to remove. Next, pull out the dispenser drawer, depress the locking tab, and remove the drawer from the control panel. Remove the front control panel mounting screws and the rear control panel mounting screw. Now, moving left to right, detach the control panel mounting tabs and move the panel out of the way. Next, remove the upper front panel mounting screws and lift the front panel up and out. Now remove the screws securing the pump housing. Depress the tab underneath the pump housing and pull the housing free. Next, disconnect the pump motor wires. Remove the pump motor mounting screws. and pull the old pump motor out. Install the new pump motor by positioning it on the housing. Secure the mounting screws and connect the pump motor wires. Realign the pump housing with the slots and locking tab in the cabinet base. Secure the housing with the screws. Reinstall the front panel by aligning the tabs in the cabinet base with the slots in the panel. Now secure the front panel mounting screws. Reposition the control panel and snap it into place. Reinstall the mounting screws in the front and in the back. Replace the dispenser drawer. Align the main top and slide it forward into place. Secure the screws at the rear. Replace the lower front panel mounting screw. Reinsert the pump filter housing and secure the screw. Clip the drainage tube into the housing and close the cover. Snap the door latch wire connector into place and realign the door boot seal on the lip of the front panel. Reinsert the boot clamp into the seal's outer groove with the spring at the bottom. Using the spring expansion tool to widen the spring will make this step easier. You're now ready to plug the appliance back in to make sure it's functioning properly.